What is up guys, DKOPO here and the Samurai Showdown patch version 1.30 is live, which means the balances are live, but Basara, as you can see on the screen here, he has a little coin purse still on him, means he's still not available as of yet. One more day to go guys, but we get to test out all of the character changes. First of all, in this patch, new DLC character was added. That would be Basara. Balances to characters' interactions during battle have been made. Fixed other minor issues and features. General change was <clears throat> resolved an issue where at times it was possible to counter slash blade catch an attack coming from behind. So that's a bug. That bug is out. Now let's go into the character specific changes. All right, so first up for Haomaru, his standing far light slash reduce recovery frames so this you can do stuff faster off of this does that mean you could combo you could combo uh, uh, into light slash into I don't know if you could have done this before but light slash into heavy DP is a thing Standing far heavy slash hastened attack startup. So this guy who does probably the second highest damage in the game uh, for standing heavies is comes out faster. I do feel it. There's almost no delay. It's uh, that's definitely a buff. Jumping heavy slash resolved an issue where it was difficult to hit opponents at the edge of the screen. That sounds like a bug fix because from what I read there were several characters who had this fix so that is just something that was happening to some people that got resolved. Advancing light slash increased opponent knockback <clears throat> increased opponent knockback duration on hit. So it sounds like this move is less punishable now if he hits you. Yeah, that's a uh, Probably Kyoshiro's fastest option. Let me see if I can buffer a DP. Yeah, even his light DP doesn't punish us. So I guess that's safe for now. Another buff for Hamuru. Those are all of Hamuru's changes. Probably still top five in the game. So I don't know why he necessarily needed these buffs, but for the most part, he got buffs. Nakarudu, crouching medium slash. Altered so that upon block, the player character enters a recoil state. So this move right here, um, before when it used to hit characters, it, it, all of the hits, bing bing bing, would all do that to a character when it would hit. But now, when you block it, she's in a recoil state. Kind of safe though. She still recoils. But man, that's uh oh, I got you. Yeah, she can even block Kyoshiro's Rage Art, so I mean she probably can apply less pressure right afterward. Maybe she's even or you know, loses uh, her turn, but for the most part she's still she's still safe. I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. She's still She's still a tier character, not much changed. Hattori Hanzo, alright, he had a couple of changes. First one is the bug fix to the jumping heavy slash. <clears throat> First one is the jumping heavy slash bug fix, where it resolved an issue where it was difficult to hit an opponent at the edge of the screen. Standing holding forward kick reduced recovery frames. So this recover, this definitely looks faster. That looks like it's ninja speed now. I think this is a good buff for Hanzo up close. Advancing kick. Increased attack frames. Attack now behaves the same regardless if a weapon is held or not. So whether you're armed or disarmed, the dash kick is has the same properties now. Before I guess they were a little bit different. Um, so it increased, increased the frames on how active this hitboxes so maybe right at, at the start it starts hitting before maybe it started a little too slow but now instantly when he does it he can start hitting his opponent so big 
potential buff here let's see what it looks like um, the ninja exploding dragon blast his fire slinky got a buff reduce recovery frames I'm just doing it it's reduced it to all three versions so I'm just showing you all three versions and how fast he can react after he lets go of his projectile so this is a big thing for Hanzo since this is where a lot of his mix mix up games comes from does the fireball goes low or crosses up with that thing or stops to do his uh, I don't know how to do this either his David where are you how did this fucking command grab his command grab this move also got buffed in its rage form now it does more hit stun you see that how many times Kyoshiro got hit off that so now it's supposed to give you uh, increased time of where your attack can have a follow-up afterward. Let me see if let me see if this works. Does this work? No, that doesn't work. That would have been cool. But yeah, Hanzo mains lab it out. Maybe um, I'm not familiar with the character. David would be uh, probably right away trying to figure out what that's good for since he mains this character. Uh, Ninja Mon Dance light and heavy versions now has the same recovery frames as a normal jump upon landing regardless if one attacks or not. So two versions of his teleport move got switched up and I'm assuming this is a good thing as the recovery is if it was a normal jump so maybe a better recovery to throw out a, a normal now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how long it was. Uh, uh, there was a delay beforehand on um, when Hanzo was allowed to press the button, but I'm sure this is a slight buff. Overall, uh, Hanzo got better. I can see him being more competitive now with the stuff he had. This is more useful. This is more useful. This is the biggest one. His his uh, sneaky's more useful for his mix-up. His one of his main things that Hanzo wants to do and it teleports too like when you want to mix those up and mix those in are also a little bit better overall Hanzo is 25% more ninja than he was before alright so the American Ninja Gaijin Galford jumping heavy slash same thing resolved an issue where it was difficult to hit opponents at the edge of the screen standing kick Shorten the top of the hurt box. It's pretty fast too. So for this kick, I think you'd have to test it out for yourselves for all you Galford mains to see how useful it is. It's gonna be on a case by case basis, uh, depending on the characters and how they jump in, what buttons they use to jump in. But this has less of a hurt box, so it's a little bit better. Advancing kick, increase attack frames, reduce recovery frames. So this guy, same as Hanzo's, can attack faster and recovers faster. Rush Dog, hasten attack startup. So Galford's already, to me, considered to be one of the better zoners in the game. And now one of his zoning tools got even better and it's one of his rage moves as well as you can see in rage, uh, Poppy decides to grab people become a grappler but yeah startup of that is faster now looks pretty pretty decent so I just uh, two of the changes were technically rush dog and rush dog during rage I just showed you both it's the same thing the the startup became faster overhead crash increased damage hasten attack startup reduced recovery frames so buffed across the board All right, let's check this move out because before I remember this thing always looking so slow that's that's definitely better it still looks a little laggy like if you see Galford like if this is Galford's normal jump I wish it would look a little bit more like his normal jump so it could trick people into going all right he's jumping oh no wait it's this damn move darn it 
pretty sure it's still not actually an overhead as well. Yeah, would be cool also if it if overhead crash was also an overhead. Just saying, SNK. I don't think too many people will be mad about that. So for Tam Tam, uh, how Teotihuacan, uh, that is his weapon flip technique, resolved initial where for a brief moment Tam Tam was registered as in air even after landing. So technically this bug is a slight nerf to Tam Tam because if he is registering as in air, that means after he lands this and the opponent tried to hit him, uh, they, they would get into a, a state where they couldn't be comboed, like a normal combo in the ground. They'd probably flip right out like if they got hit out of the air. So I guess a good fix for consistency in how the move should work, but unfortunately it kind of is against Tam Tam's favor. Alright, Genjiro. Reverse 5 Flash Rip. Resolved an issue where opponents are knocked out of Genjiro's Reverse 5 Flash Rip when hit by a Cherry Blossom Slice during the attack animation. Alright, so this essentially fixes a situation where when Genjiro would do his card and let's say he were to land his weapon flip and the card was still flipping in the air because he held down the button so the card on block flipped up in the air to still hit you on its way back down that card would stop the weapon flip animation so it would essentially even if you were to happen to land this super it would cancel out the, the damage because of the card coming down now this seems highly situational so technically it's uh, a bug fix kind of uh, buff um, tiny buff for Genjiro but it's still a good quality of life thing to never have that happen to a Genjiro player. Uh, Yashimaru had one change to his crouching far heavy slash. <clears throat> increased opponent knockback duration on hit I'm not sure how big of a deal this is because you're both pretty much moving at the same time maybe it's still a little bit more advantageous towards Yashimaru because before if he'd landed he'd be I guess a little more negative on whose turn it was next yeah, after hitting his opponent but I don't know time will tell doesn't seem like that big of a deal Darley Dagger, Standing Kick, Increased Opponent Knockback Duration on Hit, Increased Opponent Recovery Frames on Block. Uh, she's, she can still block. So they basically made this safer. Uh, a little buff to Darley's Standing Kick, they made it a little safer. Yoshitora Tokugawa, advancing medium slash, resolved an issue where the hitbox would disappear mid attack. So this sounds like a bug. Maybe this uh, thing here sometimes would have a ghost attack almost. So good for Yoshitora players on staying consistent. I myself, uh, when I played Yoshitora, never noticed any kind of inconsistency with the uh, with the move minor minor buff all right so earthquake standing far heavy slash expanded hitbox of third attack backwards I'm surprised they didn't do this the last time he got touched because they did the same thing to his crouching you see how that hits three times usually the standing would hit twice if they're close enough to earthquake it would hit twice close enough to still be far yeah see that's more consistent because before it would be like it would hit twice and then the third hit would whiff and then earthquake gets into a situation where he's not happy especially if it throws through like that yeah throws like that that that's definitely feels more consistent now fat breath change so that the hitbox doesn't disappear when trading with an opponent's projectile 
All right, so this is like a bug fix. Sometimes earthquakes fire would not register that it can beat out projectiles. But now it's more consistent and a better neutral tool for earthquake. Dance of fire, just like earthquakes, uh, fire breath. Kyosho got the same thing where it changed so that the hitbox doesn't disappear when training with an opponent projectile. So now it, uh, whoops. So now it, uh, like, found out that <laughs> fucking beats <Pete's> supers. <laughs> um, so now it, uh, more consistently trades with the projectiles like it's supposed to. Twisting Heavens, light, medium, heavy, that's his DP, added a lower hitbox. Which triggers the first on on first attack frame. All right, so this essentially means that from the ground, maybe Kyosho can do his DP from a little farther out, and it more consistently hits people, maybe even crouchers. Let's have Kyosho crouch. Maybe this is also to stop Kyoshi from uh, flying over crouchers as easy. Better hitbox has to be good, right? There, there has to be situations for it that I haven't completely figured out yet as to why they would um, need to to buff this in, in particular. Because um, Kyoshi lives and dies by how badly timed his specials are. So, regardless of of what hitbox changes they do to his specials. They still have to be done at the right time, because if you don't do them at the right time, you die. Alright, so on hit, Kyoshiro's Flesh and Blood Fandango Weapon Flip Technique increased opponent's downtime on hit. Okay, so I guess it was too much of a negative. Um, from Kyo on Kyoshiro's end, his recovery end, when he lands this move. See, because look at all that animation Kyoshiro does. So they pretty much um, synced it so that Kyoshiro's animation at the end and the, the opponent's recovery is more even with a, a typical weapon flip from another character that has better recovery than, than Kyoshiro does. Kind of like making it even with the rest of the cast. Alright, so Wu Zhang having one of the most changes in his patch. Let's go through them. Standing Far Light Slash expanded the hitbox forward and upwards. So I guess they made this a good panic anti-air when uh, you've got no time to activate your counter or your lightning or maybe your weapon flip. But um, yeah. That's always good. I mean, it looks like it should hit like that. It's a good, it's a good button now. It looks really good. Standing far, medium slash, hasten attack startup. So the startup of this, this comes out a little faster. Uh, a lot of Rayjan players do say a lot of her normals was one of her big negatives for the character. So startup of this is faster. Crouching craw. Crouching close heavy slash hasten attack startup. So crouching heavy slash got faster. Um, still looks a little slow, so it must have been pretty damn slow before. I like the animation she has on hit, but that's a little laggy too. Crouching far heavy slash hasten attack startup. So this is faster too. This looks pretty fast. It looks like a, de a decent button now. Jumping light slash hasten attack startup. So this is probably this looks like a decent move. I don't know if it uh this thing repels invincibility DPs that would be amazing, but I highly doubt it. But it's a shield though, right? So it should, right? That would make her OD. I, I highly doubt it. I'm not even gonna test it. There, no way. There's no way. Jumping medium slash hasten attack startup. So this is faster to come out as well. Which is good, but you know, most of the characters that are at the top of the food chain 
have invincibility DPs and they don't care how good your jump-ins are so you know I guess it's good standing punch standing punch oh my god get your goddamn shit whoa this, did her run get bad? Wow. Did, did she always have that run when she was blind? I wouldn't, I wouldn't run forward like that if I were blind. She's adorable though, look at her. Standing punch when disarmed. Hasten attack startup. Expanded the hitbox downward. Reduced recovery frames. So this is <laughs> this little piece of shit move <laughs> is better. <laughs> look how the other Rage Egg's looking at her too. Bitch, you ain't doing nothing with that shit. Look at you. Yeah, maybe this couldn't hit crouchers before. But now, you know, maybe it can it can. Also her crouching punch, hasten attack startup, reduced recovery frame. So so her, her crouching punch in general, whether it's close or far, it's the same thing. Made it a little bit better. Jumping punch, hasten attack startup. This thing, you can barely tell it's an attack when you when it's in the air. The startup of it is faster. Advancing punch extended the hitbox downward. All right, so this is all right. Essentially the same move, but dashing. Whoa, yo, she flew. I forgot these characters fly off of uh, dashing. When you're disarmed, dashing uh, attacks. They fly. But yeah, same move. Pretty much all around, they buffed how bad her normals were when she's disarmed. Standing kick. Increase opponent knockback duration on hit. I mean, I guess this is good, but the uh, computer recovers pretty fast off afterward. See? It can pretty much move as soon as you hit him still. Not too sure how bad it was before, but it's better. Increase opponent recovery frames on block. But if you, I guess if you hit this, the opponent uh, recovers faster after you hit it if it block kicks. Kind of an adjustment there, not really uh, a buff or nerf, a little of both. Black Tortoise Torrent. Medium expanded hitbox downward. Now this is the one change I saw that is going to be some shit. If it is what I think it is, if you can't crouch this, this really helps her zoning game. Yep, I can't crouch it anymore. Before you used to be able to crouch that projectile, now you gotta block it. Now you gotta hold this damn projectile. So this move right here, her Vermilion Bird Blaze, is just like the Kyoshiro and Earthquake uh, change, where it makes sure to properly trade with a projectile if she chooses to use that option. Then again, just build rage by just defending. So they increase the hitbox on a successful counter. God, did it always look that big? Jesus. Is this one of the things that go crazy on, on Rage? It doesn't. But this thing looks the... This thing looks insane. Look at this thing. It's a damn Earthbender. She's the damn Avatar. Look at it! So, biggest change for her is this fucking move. Helps her zoning. She's a zoner in a not zoner friendly game. All the other changes are, you know, nice. But this, this guy right here, that's the biggest change. People can't duck it. Alright guys, Rimu Ruru. Um, I hate seeing her specials. The names of her special so here we go standing far light slash hasten attack startup so this is faster she's already pretty fast 
as a character from when I when I touched her when she first came out, uh, she didn't feel slow, but her specials felt slow. So surprising that her attack got buff. Standing for heavy slash, hasten attack startup. So this is faster too. Yeah, look at that damage. Um, crouching light slash, increase attack frame. So there's more uh, active attack frames uh, on this move. Expanded hitbox forward on her crouching medium slash. Wait a minute, these are you serious? I'm guys, I'm alternating. Crouching medium and crouching light slash. Uh, SNK, please, can we get more of a variety on moves? I know this is a fairly old game and stuff like this used to fly back then, but we got we got time to patch these things in. Please, please. There's no reason for one move or another. Let me see this. Forty. Wait, forty. Wait, why is that one? Is that seriously? Wait. Why is that so much more? Why is that so much more damage? 40? To 132? And they look like this? What is happening? There's just a little bit more ink on the blade. Advancing Light Slash is now cancelable. That's dope. That's really cool. I don't think you could combo off of it. Nope. But now you can do. Is it cancelable? Yeah, it's cancelable um, on whiff. That's better that it's cancelable on whiff for her because she's uh, has all of these projectiles. cool that she has cancelable stuff. She's the only other character that can cancel a special move out of her overhead too, guys, in case you didn't know. Her air specials. Which is probably just one. Advancing kick. Hasten attack startup on second attack. Can now cancel with Konru Shiraru during the in the rebound animation after the second hit. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. I like changes like this, SNK. Look at that. That's nice. Advancing kick, reduce recovery frames, so she's a little safer because this looks like it should be a safe move, but you could definitely punish it. So now she's a little safer. Let's see. Yeah, she's a little safer now. Before you could just dash up and hit her, but this she has a weird dash. Let me try with uh, something else. Yeah, it's safe for now. Definitely a big buff there. So now she could actually throw it out like I thought you could throw it out uh, when she was first released. Alright, so her DP, Conroe Nonro, increased damage across the board uh, for Conroe Nonro and during max uh, her rage also. So right now her at her max rage against low health character it does 223 so you know take away a little bit percentage of that for all of the beefier characters in the game so Ruputum light increased damage so if you for some reason you don't want to do your DP that's really good DP because it doesn't have invincibility but it's not you it's a disjointed hurt box so it makes it really good so if you don't want to use that you at least have this to oops you at least have this with 
more damage that you can do with it in case you want to anti-air with it. If it's easier for you to anti-air with this. With the Tom Heavy, increased damage, expanded hitbox forward. Um, this has more damage too, which is good for in case you just want a, a quick confirmation into like a standing medium or something like that. This one's going to be good too, uh, her heavy version. Increased damage, expandage, hitbox forward. Opponent now reacts the same as when hit by a crouching heavy slash. So, check this out. So this move is going to be a good mix for her, her slight buff. Did she get a buff to this? Advancing, advancing light slash now cancel. So, this is, this is where it gets cool, right? Now she has a little bit of a 50-50 going on. Or a little bit of a mix. So now people are gonna have to worry about this even more because she can cancel into special moves. And a special move that got buffed is the heavy version of the Tuputum of the Ruputum. Ruputum. There you go. The Ruputum is this. Yeah. The heavy version of the Ruputum comes out kind of slow, but it's a low. So you can actually dash and catch them off guard with kind of a 50-50 because you can actually kind of go for a, for your over, surprise overhead attack or if you do do this you can go for the low the computer knows I'm doing this guy so it knows don't worry you might catch people on that or you can just mix them up too because she's so fast and, you know so you got more options now with this cancelable move you can do overhead you can do it and you can do it and then run up grab or you can do it and do the new cancelable move or you can whiff it too and then that's you know that's really cool cool little option for her that i think that's a good buff rupu karani rupu kaude rupu kaude nishi oh that's a that's a whole paragraph i'm about to read when an opponent guards between startup and the moment before the attack begins, their guard pose will be triggered. They and they wouldn't be able to move. This has been changed to match the weapon equipped version where their guard pose would be triggered. Oh, this would. <clears throat> this has been changed to match the weapon equipped version where her guard pose would not be triggered. The Rupu Kuare Nishi uh, Light and Medium, right? The thing I just read. This is kind of... I don't know how much of an nerf it is because now people can choose to move out of the way. They, they're not stuck blocking in certain instances like like the uh, the uh, Tempe Jesse just said. So this is, I guess, better for opponents that are playing against her and don't mean to get themselves into a, an unshakable uh, block animation. Rupu Koide Tutu, reduce recovery frames, increase opponent knockback duration on hit, reduce opponent recovery frames on block. So this guy got kind of a trade-off where you can move a little sooner from throwing it, but so can your opponent upon getting hit. Uh, kind of a bug fix here, the Upon Orb, the Mashy Mashy move. There was a bug where you could hit people from behind. Maybe they're trying to jump and cross you up as you're trying to do it. Oops. As you're trying to do it. Whoa, she just auto-corrected. <laughs> Can I do this on that? No, I can't. I'm not going to be able to do this by myself. As you're trying to do it, people try to cross you up or come behind you and for some reason they'd get hit. Uh, Kirshner had a problem with that too that got fixed where he'd do his dance of fire, somebody would try to hit him from behind and they'd still get punished even though they're the ones punishing Kyoshiro. <laughs> Alright so Shizu Marihizume, the first one has me a little confused. I'm gonna need your help down below. In the comment section help me figure out what this means. So it says counter. Resolved an issue when, in the case where a player is unarmed by performing a missed blast, etc., 
is unarmed by one of their their weapons like by one of their specials essentially um they could not cancel a kick into a counter even when the weapon returns i'm so confused so cancel a kick into a counter is it this into like a they couldn't do this i don't know this one's weird i'm not i'm not dwelling on this one um advancing light slash with Resolved an issue where an opponent's recovery frames from blocking this attack were longer compared to blocking the same attack by a different character. Alright, so if you're hit by this, you would be in recovery a lot longer before. And that's kind of messed up. So now it's the same as getting hit by everybody else in the cast. So they normalized that. May Shower Slice. Resolved an issue with Shizumaru's model when an opponent is chipped to death at the edge of the screen so something was weird something buggy was and weird was going on when uh you chip an opponent to death using this move bug fix reigns of time resolved an issue where shizumaru would continue jumping on the opponent even after the time is up that's pretty funny <laughs> So basically, if like you run out of time and you're not pressing this anymore, this could keep jumping on an opponent's head. All right, let's see what that would look like. All right, that looked like this, basically. Wonder how long it would last. I have never seen this done. All right, crazy downpour, the turnaround punch mechanic. I mean, there's a lot to read here, so follow with me. Charging now resets whenever a player rage explodes or performs a lightning blade attack during that whole animation before you would able to be charging your crazy downpour during that whole like super animation sounds kind of cheap no the intention was there to be a trade-off between rage bursting lightning blades and charging crazy downpour by disabling the kick button as a way of charging however players were able to hold down a slash and the kick button to circumvent this and so now the change will automatically reset instead oh the charge will automatically reset instead resolve an issue where the second tier of this attack would trigger on release before the appropriate amount of time has been passed so that's another kind of bug where the second tier of this would come out faster than usual than the time that they wanted it to there you go, crazy downpour. A little less cheap. A little less cheap. And lastly, Shizumaru's SSM, Demon's Memory, Heaven's Tears, resolved an issue where characters were locked in place for this attack during certain conditions. So, the glitch from before was patched out. Um, yeah, good shit. SNK. Uh, I would say more or less other than the weird uh, Haomaru buffs, um, yeah, uh, a little bit uh, more focus on the, the characters that are struggling a little bit more and still patching out bugs from this game which is still good. Hope you guys enjoyed this patch breakdown guys. Basara comes out tomorrow, hope you guys are there to try him out test him out let's see what we can break or what people the community can can figure out with that character dko po out any kind of support will be appreciated down below thank you